Hi friends. I don't know about you, but for me, this Advent season, this time that I've been supposed to be preparing my heart and my mind and my soul for the coming of Jesus at Christmas time, um, has been a bit of a disappointment. You know, with all of the stresses that are going on in the world right now and the stresses going on within the church and, you know, add to that the uh, masking and social distancing that I just don't, I don't want to hear about. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. I'm so done with it. Um, I see Christmas ornaments and things like that that are memorializing 2020 with things like mask and um, toilet paper and, you know, all of the things that made this year just extra special. Um, I don't think it's funny. I, I don't think it's funny at all. I, I know that's the way some people have to look at it in a humorous light. Uh, it's their way of dealing with the stress of all of this, but honestly, I think we've been duped and I don't think there's anything humorous about it. And I'm sure that whatever side you fall on in your thoughts or beliefs about that, I know that you're just about as done with it as as I am, as, as anyone is. Anyway, the last few weeks have been especially hectic. Um, those of you who are working mamas know what it's like to get up early in the morning, try to squeeze in a few prayers, um, you know, get your kids up and preparing for school, and, you know, you're out the door, you come back in as the sun is setting to prepare dinner, clear the table, do a load of laundry, you know, fall asleep <laughs> in your meal, and get up in the morning only to do it all over again. And so, you know, living a life that is hectic like this is not really conducive to um, prayer. We have to make it a priority. And I feel like in the last couple of weeks especially, I have not done the best job with that, regretfully. But when I went to Mass this morning, I was really encouraged by our priest who reminded us all that it is not too late to prepare our hearts. It is not too late to make a good confession and repent so that we are opening the channels of the graces that God uh, may want to give us this Christmas. And, you know, just to recenter ourselves, refocus what the significance of what it is that we are preparing for um, the coming of Jesus in Christmas or memorializing his coming in that manger over 2,000 years ago and also preparing for his second coming whenever that shall be. But in order for it to be a joyous time, we have to prepare our hearts and let go of all of these things that are uh, taking our attention away from where it should be. So uh, the priest today that I had was suggesting uh, fasting and extra prayer, um, extra reading of scripture, making a good confession, and just spending some time contemplating uh, the mystery of the Incarnation. Um, the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And just the am amazing mystery that that is and just the significance of that. So I just wanted to give you a little encouragement today. Um, hopefully your Advent has been very productive and beautiful and certainly for us there have been moments um, 
but I still feel like with uh, four days left till Christmas Eve, um, I need to get my head and my heart in the right um, space, uh, focusing on Jesus Christ, uh, the babe in the manger, our savior, our hope. Um, and I pray that if your Advent has been kind of crazy like mine, that you will join me um, and make use of these last few days to really prepare ourselves. And um, it is my prayer that you and your family have a very, very blessed and joyous Christmas season. Let us end with prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, beautiful infant Jesus, we love you and we place all our trust in you. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen.